What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here in the shop today, got some boxes. We're upgrading the electronics. So this video is a do-it-yourself install, removing the old electronics. They're not that old. I'm selling them by the way. If you guys want to buy them, I'll sell them with or without waypoints. Make me an offer. You got a ton of Mazingo, Missouri waypoints, Ozarks, Table Rock. You got a ton of Gunnersville, Pickwick, Chickamauga waypoints. <laughs> Make me an offer, I might sell them with the waypoints. I don't know. But we're taking those off. I got four Garmin's I'm taking off two 93 SV Echo Maps and two 7610 uh, XXV units. So it's two 10 inch, two 9 inch, plus Panoptics right here. So uninstalling all this today. Uh, Panoptics works great. Just upgrading, getting live scope. I'm getting two 10 inch graphs and a 12 inch. So we're putting two 10s up front, one with live scope. One with traditional down and the graph. And then back here we're doing one 12 inch instead of two like I have it set up. Just because I didn't want to spend the money on buying four like I have now. So I'm selling these, give you a deal, make me an offer. Uh, fishing with Nordby at gmail.com if you're interested or just drop a comment down below with your contact info. But I'm out here today. My buddy, Christian Greco. How What's you doing? Up? Good. Drove nine hours, just got here, and now he's having me help him install these electronics. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He drove today. I said, here's the deal. You can come fish with me for the week, but we got to install these. Yep. What'd you come for? To learn? Yeah, to learn some ledge fishing, and hopefully we get this live scope set up. I really want to see how that live scope works offshore, and uh, I think I'll probably end up buying one yeah. based on what I've seen, and hopefully we get to see it in action this week. Yeah, but fo go follow his channel. He started it not too long ago. He catches some tanks down in Florida, uh, Christian Greco Fishing. Yeah, just my name, Christian Greco, G-R-E-I-C-O on the last name, and yeah, just search that, and it'll on pop YouTube? up on YouTube. Sweet. It's a link down below. Go check out his channel. We're going to get to install on these graphs. I'm excited. Thanks for your help today. Yeah, let's do it. It's always helpful having a second pair of hands. So, first things first, take off the old stuff. Gonna break out the new stuff. Alright, so I want to show you the setup so I have first I'm taking off. I have these directly mounted into the boat, both of them, from the mounts. So I'm selling the whole mounts right there on both of these graphs. And then on my dash, I have them mounted to a big old ram mount. I'm keeping the ram mount, but I'm selling this unit with its mount. I'm selling this unit right here with its mount and with this ram mount. I got it mounted on the side of my boat right there. See that? So I'm selling this whole ram mount if you, if you want it. So we got four graphs. We're going to take those off now, unscrew everything, undo the wiring. Got wiring hooked up the front, ran down the side. We're going to take the wiring out, but at the same time, at the same time we take the wiring out, we're going to tape it to the new wiring, pull it all through at once so it's easy and you don't have to be fishing for wiring. So that's the first tip. We're going to remove these right now. All right, we got all four graphs off. We do not have the wires out yet. Like I said, you want to run your new wires in with your old wires. So these right here uh, are down under my boat. They go in right here. And to get to that, it goes through the side of my boat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the wires off of my lithium battery here. And I'm going to run tape or braid to my new wires. And I'm going to pull them through, all the way through. And I'll be able to access them easily through this hole right down here. It's kind of hard to get to and push things through. So having them tied to your current wires is the way to go. And we're just going to put these back through this port right here and pull them on through. So he's going to feed them and I'm going to pull them and we're going to get them out of there. First graph will be done. We bought separate wire, 50 foot red, 50 foot white. And then we got our cable connectors and we're running everything straight to the battery from this console and from up at the bow. And we are running our transducer cable at the same time. Transducer is so small in these Garmin's, I love it. Okay, we're putting our terminal connectors. Better be careful how close I put this camera next to the fire, <laughs> huh? Okay guys, next step, we're taking the old connectors from the graph that were on there and we are electrical taping them to the new power source right there. So we're getting rid of two of these because one of our graphs is going away. We're adding two and we're running the transducer up as well. We already fed the transducer through the back end, through the cables there, and it's coming out here. 
So we're ready to run it up the side of the boat. We just got our wires ran up through here. You can see our old wiring cut it off, but it's electrical taped. It's all ran here. So we're going to hook the power cable of the new graph to our cables that ran straight to the battery, white and red. And then we are about to run the cables. While we're running cables, we're doing it all at the same time. And we just took out the old cables, the old Garmin units. I'm about to run the Panoptics cable and my power cable to my transducer up through here. It comes and it follows my foot pedal all the way up. So I gotta take every single little um, zip tie off and put a bunch of new ones back on. We're gonna take Panoptics off. I love Panoptics while I've had it. It's been great, but time for an upgrade. So that's what we're doing right now. Looks like a mess, boat looks like a mess, wires everywhere, but you get them in the right place, you zip tie them up, it goes back together nicely. So we're gonna keep going here, get your hands dirty in this job. So your live scope comes with a black box. You probably wanna mount it in the side compartment here. We're gonna throw it right here and I'm gonna point my ports upwards. That way it's easy to plug in and run the cords from up front to here. I need a power cord going back from here and I need to be able to reach everything. So this is the prime location to have it split, go both ways. So we're gonna mount it right there. I'm gonna drill a hole in my boat and then I'm gonna put these screws in the hole. So you always wanna drill a hole first so you don't split your fiberglass. So we just mounted live scope down here on the troll motor. We fed up wires, we put the transducer on, we fed wires matching the angle of the trolling motor. We fed the wires in here, we fed the wires out of my plate, and we got them sticking out ready for the graphs to be mounted. All the wires that are gonna connect to the graphs are sticking out of here, ready to go. Now, we fed the wiring through here to the second rod locker, mounted our black box right here. We got Panoptics wires hooked up to it. Everything's gonna be hooked up to it and ran streamlined all the way over here. So now we got our power cords for both of the graphs and our power cord for the Panoptics black box. We're hooking this wiring up to it. And then a little trick, if you're doing it yourself at home to get the wire through to the back of your boat to your graph, got an old broken fishing rod. So we're gonna tape the wiring, shove it, alongside the whole boat all the way back to this compartment that we took out and we can grab the wiring feed it back to the battery we just ran the wires all the way down the side of the boat the fishing rod method worked really well christian's over here putting the terminal ends on the wires we're going to hook the, all those up to the battery here real quick i just drilled in my new mounts up front here there you go we got one here it's going to have my down imaging chart and this one right here has got my live scope so i'm about to put these on them hook the graphs up we'll get power to them we'll test everything out make sure it works i went ahead and mounted my 12 inch right here the big ram mount it's going to be nice off to the side be able to see over it and steer and then hit everything right there so i already got everything hooked up to it gonna turn the power on again check it Last thing I'm gonna have to do is transfer my waypoints from my other graphs to these units, and we'll be good to go. Get out on the water, catch some biggins. We got our new graphs installed. They both kicked on. We're gonna go through the setup process. Not too bad installing these garments. Thanks for your help. Yep, no problem. And stay tuned. We're gonna go out there, hopefully get on some big ones here soon, test them out. We're gonna show you them on the water, live scope on the water. I'm excited. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.